Okay, so we have uh, Gafka, aka John Whittle, versus Key. Um, I haven't watched Gafka play in probably two years. So I'm not quite sure how his ICs play. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I do know he doesn't wobble. That's about all I know. I know he's like really heavy and like the down throw down airs like a lot of um, I think he does a lot of blizzard after the grab, like the real old school icy stuff. This matchup is it can be pretty difficult for ICs uh, because committing, like any kind of move is a huge commit, especially if you go in the air. Um, because Falcon can really dance around in the air. Um, his air mobility really... Um, oh gosh, that ain't a grab. Um, six, that was a shield stun uh, re-grab. Um, yeah, his, his aerial mobility just makes it really tough for Icy's to catch him. And uh, hitting Icy's is terrible. Oh, okay. I like that. Good tech chase. Oh, okay. He wave dashed too far. Um, and Nana kind of flew out of his reach of um, being able to control her. Okay, smart dropping all the way down. Okay, yeah. It also doesn't hurt to go for up airs though as Falcon. Oh, the um, he probably if he had reacted fast, he probably could have gotten the knee after that back here, but. I mean, keeping Popo off the stage isn't, you know, that's not hurting him at all. John Wheel's having a really hard time getting up substantial damage with the Sopo. But for good reason. I mean, this, this matchup is not easy. Oh, that was smart. Up air. Yeah, he definitely should go for something there. Even F tilt there hurt. Okay. I guess that's what you get for not closing out the edge guard there. Yeah. There it is. He says, I don't care about the up air. He's going to go straight for knee. That was it, everybody. What's up? You know these players? Uh, players? Yeah, I know John Whittle. Very old school player. Oh, the ICs? Uh, yes. Okay, I've, I don't, heard, I've heard the name. I don't know much about Key, to be quite honest. But uh, he's looking pretty strong. Yeah, he's up. Yeah, like I said, he kind of goes for those blizzards after this the grab. Match, the stage, who, who benefits from the stage the most? It's all dependent on who likes it the most. Okay. Um, I first thought that Falcon won it here, and I still kind of think that, but it really depends on the way the two play. Like, I don't mind taking Mike here, uh, but I don't like taking GCS here. So it's all dependent. Yeah. Um, Keys, uh, Falcon Key there, I think was pretty susceptible, susceptible actually. Pretty sure Whittle could have done something about it, or uh, Gothra could have, but um, yeah. easier said than done against Falcon. Kind of the. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm getting off. I got C Mac back on. All right, so I had a really, I had a really tough set. I play Busty because you know, Busty's yeah. just, Busty's just a legend. It's exhausting. Okay, yeah. Uh, it seems like um, uh, Gafka is going more up the strat of going under a platform and blizzarding, which can be really hard to get around if you're not used to it. Mm -hmm. And handoff? Okay, he just goes straight for the down smash or for the F smash. I think he looked like he looked like he was trying to go for the wobble. Cause I think that was Nana no, he who no, he doesn't that. wobble. He doesn't wobble. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, he his his like uh, his grab stuff is pretty basic. I mean, good for like a you know, it's icy, so right. basic is still pretty good. Um, but like he's not gonna get a kill off the grab gotcha. um, unless he's a high percent. And uh, and actually, we haven't been talking. Uh, John Whittle's tied this game up, but his name is gonna be. He should back throw. Okay, because fourth throw gave him the option to go save Nana. It really would have been a pummel or just back throw, so it would have been very, very difficult to save Nana. Um, I'm just going to let you do most of the talking because I actually know nothing about yeah, this matchup. This matchup's really fun, actually. It's uh, very. Oh, he's, yeah, he got the reverse, but he didn't turn around in time. Okay. Very kind of weird stuff going on. Yeah, he's trying to catch him, uh, like, like going over Icy's head with up tilt. But that move is really tough to use in this matchup. 
Okay, it seems like everybody knows Gothka. Is he? Has, was he? Very in? old school. Oh, really? Very old school. Gotcha. I was wondering who it was. Yeah. Um, like the first time I ever saw him was in SNS, and everyone there was like, "Oh, he's so old school." So mm -hmm. I've only seen him a couple times, really. Gotcha. Uh, so like, <laughs> like people these days consider SNS uh, old school. So that's really old school. <laughs> yeah. I mean, SNS was only about two years ago. Yeah. That's when I. That's but that's like, oh crap. Okay. Immediate goes for the tech chase. Yeah. I really like the option for ICs if you kind of like run up and then shield. And then you get their grab, of course, because they're going to want to grab. Or uh, get up attack. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's like he kind of like go at the last second. I was a little surprised that his, and from his facial expression, he was too. So you can challenge this as ICs um, with either fair like that or. Ooh, he grabbed it. Mm -hmm. That's super difficult. I'm not quite sure how that happened. I don't know if he stood there a little bit longer or not, uh, but that move is extremely difficult for ICs to punish, at least in my experience. And I've played a lot of this matchup. Oh, I'm sure. You and GCS both. I know you mentioned before you really enjoyed this matchup, but I don't I think, do. I don't think I love and hate does. it. I love and hate it. Uh, but it, it, overall, it's, it's, it feels like I think an IC matchup should feel like. Right. It feels really difficult and neutral the entire time, but you can get something really good off the grab. So, yeah. That's how ICs I think should feel all the time. I feel like I really I mean I feel like in both of these matchups it's just very explosive. Like ICs have the wobble. Yep. ICs like you, they can abuse Falcon's recovery. So like Sox can just drop instantly like that. So I can understand. I can understand the frustration and feeling like it never really seems like you're in control. Yes. See now I don't think he quite knows what to do when John Whittle's under a platform uh, doing desyncs. And quite honestly, it's something I don't. I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to do either. I mean, I've had right. people that beat me doing it, but I'm not quite sure what they do. Yep. No one ever said you had to know what they're doing. You just had to kind of know why, like how to avoid it. Yeah, I wish uh, he. Uh, it could have happened that time, but the time before it, I wish like he would have hit the back airs and then immediately go out for like an up air, something that's like decently safe and mm -hmm. he's pretty sure to hit. Okay. All right. Yeah, and that's what's so good about that move, the side B, is that it just hits Nana so dang much. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I like that. That was, that was really funny. Just grab the ledge, or S smash, yep. Okay, we got a pretty close game. Uh, Gafka's definitely been, um, oh, oh, okay, oh, wow. good. Oh, oh, I wish you would have gone up there and F, like, wave dash and then F smash him. Mm -hmm. uh, cause, ooh, okay, these up tilts are working. I think Gafka might be playing a little too short hoppy. He might, um, he might benefit more from, like, going higher and higher in the air. And yeah, Gafka jumps into that. But still gets this girl. Good save. Okay, so he's getting hit a lot by the uppies. Um, and for those that don't know, it's really good for, um, you had to wait this until Nina stops flashing, which is after the Apex. Like, she'll start coming down and she'll still hit you for a quick second. Apex didn't happen this year, though. <laughs> I feel like I'm at, with Alec again. Where is he, by the way? Um, he usually is at the gym at this time. Ah, gotcha. uh, that's why he's not at the tournament. So, like, he's usually working out. So, very respectable. Mm -hmm. I just work out in the morning, so. Yeah, I think he has a hard time with that, and I don't blame him. I suck at working out in the morning. Every time I try to do it, it's like, oh. Yeah, it's miserable. It's miserable. Yeah, I, it is. But you feel better afterwards. Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, so Key is switching up the way he's playing this matchup, which is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, Stomp is really hard to beat when I, uh, Falcon's on a. <gasps> when Falcon's, okay, he got it. And he's doing it. Okay, he's just doing this because uh, Key has no idea how to get out of this. That's an action. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I'm not going to say out loud how he's supposed to get out of this because they can probably hear me pretty well. Yeah. Or just got to be quiet, you know. SDI down air immediately. Oh, oh, good down air to escape, though. Oh, okay. Well, let's just... Oh, wow. man, I think I'm pretty sure that that was um, Gafka who inputted that. He buffered that like as he was going to grab. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nana is savable. Stomp. Okay. Yeah, right there he should have gone up in need because he had some lag. With him. Oh wow! What? Yep. Gafka wins. Holy crap! Game three. That was a great game. I feel like 
Icy's down smash in this matchup is just really high risk, high reward because it is. Yeah, like if you're hitting the ground with Falcon, it's great, but the minute he goes up in the air, you're just screwed. Yeah, it. Um, when I play GCS and Mike to an extent, because um, they just play so differently, mm -hmm. um, especially against GCS, I have to tell myself stop down smashing um, because there are weird times where it like it can beat out Falcon coming for a stomp. But that's very rare, and if you down smash, Falcon's going to stomp you, which should be dead Nana. Yeah. Um, or like, you know, to a certain extent. Just lots of, lots of percentage high punish, so. Uh, I'm likely going to be playing Sid next. All right. That oh. Be fun. Oh, by the way, stream uh, chat, please give me who you want to, you, like, the matches you want, so. Keep me updated. Alrighty. Okay, game three, Battlefield. Um, <sighs> this stage, I have no idea how to feel about this stage. Um, I don't know. If, I think it, once again, this one's really based mm -hmm. on who enjoys it the most. But if they both feel even about it, probably the better player wins. I don't think there's like a huge... The biggest thing is the top platform. So if Falcon's going to camp it, it's going to be a tough for ICs. But I don't right. think uh, Key's doing that so much. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, he, he realized he was, he was getting hit by Nana. He realized, so he's like, I'm just not going to go for her anymore because he's not familiar with the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was a little bit lazy on the edge guard there. Ends up getting hit by the get up attack. All right. Yeah, Gafka doesn't want, does not want to stop being under these platforms. That's how he's playing because he's just having a hard time dealing with it. But right now he's way in the open. So, and I really like how he has realized that grab is actually super good in this matchup. Uh, once again, that's the second time that Gafka has gone for the down throw down air. But oh, oh wow. he misses the sink. Yeah, he just wasn't close enough. Um, he went for it though. Mm -hmm. I prefer the toilet anyways. So if you miss uh, the sink. Um. He uh, will be so much better in this matchup when he learns to reverse knee the squall. Because mm -hmm. um, he's just dropping so many edge guards. Um, that, I mean, he can get down smash and die right now. And he's just not like getting the, the throw follow ups. Yep, oh. there it is. <laughs> it is. And that hurts. I mean, that's that, that's, he could be at four stocks with uh, Gothka at two. Mm -hmm. And now Gothka is getting percent and getting percent. Um, but Goff also needs to be aware of when he's spot dodging too much. Right. Because, I mean, I wouldn't be scared of being in my shield against Key because, I mean, while he's grabbing you, like, what's he getting off of it? You know, he's not getting a ton. He's not converting that much. I'll, I'll add stick and shield all day. I mean, that's going to be survivable for another yeah. 20 or 30%. Wow. Gafka holding on to the stock like a champ. Yeah, the next one probably will kill. So, he's probably just the grab again. Yep, that works. His recovery game, though, has been pretty solid. Yeah. So. Oh, trying to read where he's going. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um... He's doing the short. Oh, oh that no. sucks. He went for down smash or down mm -hmm. throw. I'm not really sure because it looked like Nana had a throw there. Um, but then down there. Very, a very marked thing to do. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, agreed. Oh, yeah. Okay, so John Widow's going for like the short down throw down airs, like the short hop ones, which mm -hmm. I think can work um, against Falcon. But about all the, like, the best ICs will do the full one against Falcon. Oh, great down smash. And uh, to interrupt again, something that happened earlier is that uh, F tilt, I mean, uh, Falcon side B collided with up tilt. Uh -huh. um, Ices can sometimes flank that and get a grab, but it feels random. Um, Reggie pointed out to me that uh, Wobbles did that twice against Lord oh, at really? Evo 2013. And I was like, I have never seen this. How did you notice that? Um, I said, like, that's so weird. But me and Alec tested it out after that, and it's like, it feels completely random. Um, mm -hmm. And Key just kind of let Gafka completely recover there. Goodbye, Nana. Yeah, this is going to be all but over oh, unless wow. John Whittle makes a great comeback here. You shoot out first hugs? Uh, it'll be even harder. And that should do it. Yeah. yeah. Good games. Good games. <sighs>